Greetings, Ranger fans. I'm Brian Montgomery, joined today by head coach Brandon Hickman, Jesuit set to end the non-district schedule against Wiley this upcoming Friday. Coach, uh, the Rangers played here at Post Hill Stadium against a very talented DeSoto team, ranked 14th in the state. Uh, you traded punches with them for three quarters. Just a few drives went in favor of the Eagles down the stretch, and they picked up the win. Looking at that matchup, a lot to look at from Jesuit that was positive. I think that the Rangers definitely showed that they can keep up with a team at the level that the Soto has shown over the last few years, and I thought that overall the team looked great. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we played well uh, there about three and a half quarters, and uh, I thought the kids fought, and, and the effort was really good. Um, you know, they got a good football team. Our non-district schedule we knew was going to be tough. Uh, I like where we're at. We're in both games in the fourth quarter. Could have gone either way. Um, it didn't bounce our way Friday night, but I was proud of the effort the kids. I mean, they were worn out at the end of the game, and I think all the kids left everything they had out there on the field, and that's all we can ask of as a coaching staff, and that's something definitely we can build, build upon uh, heading into district play. In week one, you saw Jake Taylor and Wyatt Garrett have a lot of uh, contributions to the offense, and then it seemed like this last week it was someone else's turn to really take over in that primary receiver role. Kyle Heckel and Jonathan Paris taking over those roles as team scout. You need to make sure that somebody that's available to kind of step up in that role. And talk about that from the offensive standpoint, what that means to know as a coach that, hey, if, if some of our guys are getting covered, there's someone else that can answer the bell. Well, we got to have answers, you know, and I think we got four or five receivers we feel pretty good about. Um, you know, those guys stepped up last week. I thought Kyle Heckel played great. Um, he wasn't happy with his performance the first week, and he stepped up uh, week two. And had an outstanding game. Same with Paredes. He's been consistent. He's been a surprise this year for us. Um, he's done a really nice job uh, catching the ball and and then getting a you know pretty good long touchdown run he had the other night. So um, yeah, you know it, it's all about picking each other up. You know when some people are down one week, the next guy's got to pick us up the next week, and hopefully we'll be clicking on all cylinders uh, before you know it here um, in the next week or so. And we keep talking about what that linebacker core has been able to provide so far early on in the season. Uh, first week, it was Jack Barton with 13 tackles. Now Tommy Roy uh, with a dozen had a huge sack on third down that helped get the Rangers back into the game down by seven. Uh, talking about that, looking at what that, that core of seniors brings to that defense, that senior leadership, speak to that and how much of a difference that has made so far this season. I think mean, those two guys are probably one of the best linebacking cores we've had here in a while. You know, they're, they're both very active around the ball. Uh, they love uh, contact. Um, you know, Tommy made a great stop there. I know Jack was in on a, on a lot of tackles as well. But uh, Tommy had a big game, you know, and, and when, you, when you're good at inside linebacker, it gives people problems running the football. I felt like we kept that under check uh, most of the night. Uh, and, you know, I thought, uh, you know, our, our defense as a whole is playing really well. You know, we're just, like we told the guys, trying to uh, take care of the ball and, you know, don't give up the big play, the big pass. And, uh, you know, we're, we're getting better each week with that. And then another mention of one of the members of the linebacker core that also served a double role this past week, outside linebacker Mitchell Campbell, was also turned into a long-range field goal kicker. He launched the team's longest field goal since 2015, uh, 47, 47 or 48 yarder that cleared the uprights, gave Jesuit its first score of the game. Uh, talk about that. We know Mitchell has spent some time as a kicker on the rugby team. Uh, what does he bring to the table? Uh, he brings a strong leg. I mean, he's got a lot of power behind his kicks. Uh, we were right there. and. Felt like he'd be a good guy to put in there and, and buried a 48 or 9 yarder. And then he came back later and uh, before half, I think, kicked a 43 yarder. Um, Brown's kind of our, you know, shorter distance guy, extra point. Mitchell's kind of our longer distance guy. Um, uh, Parker's uh, kicked some great onside kicks this year for us as well. But no, it's nice to have two kickers, one with a, you know, they can kick things we feel like from about 35 to 55, possibly. And then another one that's really good there, short range, intermediate, um, that also, uh, is a pretty dangerous onside kicker. And then now you head into this matchup against Wiley this upcoming Friday. Wiley uh, with losses to Preston with Christian and Rockwell Heath on their docket, but still have shown uh, a lot of potential as both of those losses have been one possession losses. Looking at that matchup, uh, the, the Rangers defeated the Pirates here at Postal Stadium last year. What have you seen on film uh, and what can the Ranger fans expect from Wiley this upcoming Friday? Well, I mean, uh, they're always aggressive. They always play hard. You know, that's one thing about Wiley. We've played them over the years. We've scrimmaged them every year. Um, they're going to come ready to play. Um, they're going to be very aggressive. Um, they're a physical team. Um, right now, they're kind of trying to figure out which quarterback they like. They're, they're kind of rotating two guys as of now. Um, defensively, I think they're pretty active. I, I think it's been a really good game for us, a good challenge. Um, we're excited about the opportunity to go out and play really well. I think we need to put together a full game, and, and I'm hoping we can do that Friday night. Well, Coach, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck to you this upcoming week. Again, the Rangers taking on Wiley, 7.30 p.m. Wiley ISD Stadium. 
Tom, Jack, and Chris will have the call live on 770 KAAM, beginning with the Legacy Texas pregame show at 7 p.m. And as always, be sure to keep it locked into JesuitRangers.org for all of your up-to-date Rangers info.